Hey guys. Hey. hey. Oh, <laughs> geez, we missed out. You are so busy going. Wow, that's dramatic. How are you, mate? Hi, welcome, Josh Garland. Introducing yourself to your own show. Geez, you're going well at the moment. Oh. Hey, it's all about Josh Garland. Oh, yeah, it really is. <laughs> you're doing such a good job. Mate, t- you're do flying it. around the country. You're oh, going yes. first class to Adelaide. And can I just say, Kane Corns the other day. Oh, you saw that what one. What a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful skit that you put together there. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was called footy with you on the weekend. Well, I didn't do much calling, but um, I was yeah. just sitting in the boundary. But then, you know what? I had something up my sleeve. Kane Corns met up with him in Adelaide. He's a bit of an enigma yeah, in the footy is. media. People sort of don't have a read on him. He's quite polarizing. Um, but I, I did a little sketch with him, actually, Michelle. Yeah, and um, yeah. Kane Corns, he, surprisingly, as much as he, he loves the theatre of mm. footy med- media, and he was all about potentially doing a little sketch. Yeah. Uh, so wow. you, you obviously had to set this up beforehand. Yeah. And for those people that haven't seen it, go and check out your, your Twitter and uh, your In Instagram. fact, we've got a little clip right now. It, it was sort of a play on the fact that uh, – in in footy media and sport media, you, you can't sit on the fence. You have to be. No. You have to go hard on everything. He certainly hasn't got splinters in his ass. No. Honestly, so so good to be here. Um, so, what have you made of the oh, AFL season so far? I absolutely resent that question. I know what you're trying to do. So. You're unprepared. You need to gain at least 20 kilos by That's next season. It's got to be one of the worst outfit ten worst all time. Jack Ginnivan, how good is he? Jack Ginnivan, pull your head. In. Nick Dacos, best first year player I've ever seen. Any code, prison bars, any year. You're rambling. What are we talking about? Any planet. Sauce in the pantry, non negotiable No, never, never want to see him. Sauce in the fridge, non negotiable Blend 43. Long term contract. Wow, <laughs> he got away with himself yeah. there. How did you handle him? Yeah, you, yeah. He was all for it. It was actually quite funny because I went there a bit uh, worried, and I don't know. You, know, you never know. He's a, he's a professional, obviously, and yeah, because he dishes up the serious sort of stuff. It is, I think, yeah, so and so, yeah. blah blah blah. And here you come, right? Yeah, and uh, he he was he was really good, but I only had five minutes. They he told me, hang oh, on, hang me. on. What do you mean you only had I, five minutes well, with him? He's a very busy man, so he he runs to work. He's in his skins then. Then he, he flies, to, he does his show, then he flies to Melbourne, gets ready for calling on the weekend or whatever, Sweet and then Lord. the TV shows and stuff. Um, so he was like, the, his producer told me, listen, yeah, great, come in, come do the program, and you've got five minutes. So I was like, far out. So um, what, like 8.55 to 9 o'clock or something yeah, exactly like that? Like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Exactly like that. So I set up two chairs. Brad Hollis, a friend of mine, is comedian in, in Adelaide. He helped me film it, and then yeah. we set up two tripods, and he came in and sat down. He goes, okay, what do you want me to say? And then I was like, oh, can you like cry about a fake dog called Resilience Corns that died? <laughs> And he was sort of staring yeah. at me. He's like, "This okay, if this works. Um, anyway. Did he cry? No, no, not at all. No, no. He was a complete professional. <laughs> Did he? And so he immersed himself in it, obviously, because that, that sounds like he really yeah. played the part. Yeah, for that five minutes, he was yeah. definitely there. No, he was wow. He was very kind. And if you want to check it out, it's on our Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter as well, at Josh Garlop. Recommend checking it out. It was yeah. very, very good, Josh. Another side of Kane Corns right there. Yeah, the, yeah. the real side. Uh, guys, uh, I'd like to bring you the news, obviously. <laughs> Hard-hitting news. Corner. We're back in the corner. Another cracking <laughs> round of footy. Like, it, mm-hmm. it, was, it was a lot of highlights. North Melbourne uh, getting past Richmond for the very big win after uh, Noble was axed. But the thing that really struck me in this weekend, uh, massive mismanagement by Collingwood. <laughs> Guys, what we've learned from the last 30 years of TV and movies is that you do not open up your stars from a football club to the potential for a hypnosis accident <laughs> mid-season. <laughs> No, I don't do it. And I'm not a professional football oh, player. I've goodness. never said, yeah, you can hypnotise me. No, especially not a star. These guys are assets. They're, They've yes. got Jack Inovan with some, I don't know, two-bit uh, <laughs> hypnotist on stage. What if he rocks up and he's it's like Freaky Friday situation. Oh All of a sudden God. you've got a hypnotist, a 50-year-old hypnotist <laughs> playing footy full forward. I thought that was a terrible mismanagement at Collingwood. Yes. What well, could have gone wrong? I, I don't know. Have Jack, you guys... Jack Ginevan, do not go next to the football this oh, weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, I'm, like I, as I said, I've never let anyone hypnotise me. Well, what, we, what about you? We um, actually did a, a same sort of uh, basically process oh, at the West not. Coast Eagles one particular day. We did. It was in our off-season. So rampant. It involved <laughs> alcohol, which rampant. was always a good alcohol. thing. And they tried to get a few people up. And I, mm-hmm. was, like, I'm not going Mm-mm. up there. But I remember vividly Scott Selwood, okay, brother of obviously Joel and uh, and Adam, and he was up on stage. Now, Sweet I Lord. remember the guy saying a couple of times to Scott Selwood, you like vanilla ice cream. Right? You <laughs> love vanilla ice cream. It's your favourite ice cream. You just don't know how much you love it, but mm. you've loved it your whole life. Now, I didn't think too much of it, all right? No word of a lie. Right, mm-hmm. about forty minutes later, is he still in trance right? at this stage, or is he out of trance? No, he's out. He's, he's walking out around. of trance. He's walking around. Yep. So Ray wants having a beer, having a laugh, 
and there's Scott Selwood, right, in the corner of someone's backyard no. with a four litre <laughs> right, ice cream with a spoon, <laughs> and he's eating it. And I walked up to wow. him and said, what are you doing? And he goes, why, why can't I have ice cream? I love ice cream. And I'm telling wow. you, he cruised around for about an hour just eating ice cream, oh. right? <laughs> Out of a tub <laughs> while everyone else was just drinking right. beer. That, so that so that he, being put there under, he he's now got diabetes. Yeah. Got him under. He was also completely <laughs> naked. Which, yeah. I mean, that had a bit of a curveball. <laughs> Scott, it's crazy the vanilla, but also just chuck some ducks on. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, <laughs> but yeah, maybe the team's going to be better for it, okay? 